morning friends in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the communion of the holy spirit be with you all dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge all our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God that you and my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, but I have now fulfilled and have fulfilled my vow to my father, 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 my
Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. Alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like beggars who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like that. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this bread, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you, but if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every day we say, Our Father. In our personal prayer life, in our community prayer life, we always give honor and respect for this prayer, our Father. Dear friends, today God gives us a message that the prayer, our Father, is not to be a mere mouth prayer but it has to be a heart to prayer. Each and every word that we say in this prayer, it has got a true Christian living element. Dear friends, when we say our Father, there is a lot of meaning, a lot of sense, only when our heart responds, only when more than our lips and mouth, when it comes from our heart and we really mean that prayer, what a blessing we receive from God. We have two parts in this Our Father. First part is about our humility. We should know that we need to be dependent upon God. So we call upon Him. We call upon Him as children, as we need His grace, we need His blessings. So we, we need to be humble and surrender ourselves to God the Almighty Father. That's why in the first part, we call upon God as Father and surrender ourselves to Him and we leave it to, the, to His hands, the totality of our life. It's, it's a kind of expression of our dependence upon 
God. Coming to the second part, we ask two things. We ask for daily bread. Dear friends, when we ask God to give us the daily bread, we are asking Him to make us live in this world. We need bread in order to lead our lives, to live our lives. So we are asking God to provide us with the daily bread. And we also mean that daily bread is the bread we receive when we come to His holy presence. When we come for Mass and we participate in Mass, daily bread is provided. That daily bread is God, Lord Jesus Christ Himself. This bodily bread will help us to live in this world for our sustenance. But the bread we ask for our souls that will lead us to the other life, to the eternal life. And we need daily bread and we need to pray sincerely with our heart for that. And dear friends, the second one we have to remember that we are also asking for forgiveness. We are asking God to forgive our sins. Unless our sins are forgiven, our soul and body will not be at rest, will not be at peace. In order to attain that kingdom of God, our sins need to be forgiven. Every day, every moment, in something or the other, we, we are always tempted to commit sins. So, we need to pray forgiveness of our own sins. At the same time, we also have a good heart, like our God, merciful God, to forgive our fellow brethren. Only when our sins are forgiven, we will be at peace, always remember. These two things, praying for daily bread and praying for forgiveness of sins, these two are the basic elements every day we remember and pray to God through our part. Those are the utmost needs for our body as well as for the soul. Dear friends, when someone dies, we pray for the eternal rest. So, every day we have to remember, if I die, I should rest in, in God, rest in peace. And that's only possible when you say this, Our Father, with your heart, fully involving yourself and sincerely praying to God, your body and soul will be at peace one day. Don't wait for the last moment, but every time remember to God, God, the Creator, your Father, and pray sincerely. And this simple prayer would surely help you to receive God's abundance of blessings. Today we have St. Paul telling us, I am so humble, I am so simple, and I do always think of others. I should not be a burden to others. Therefore, I leave the daily prayer, Our Father, in my life. Dear friend, that's the, that is the, first, the message of first reading today. And all of us who are here and who are all watching this Mass, let us think of this beautiful prayer and every day, every moment, when we decide this prayer, surrender ourselves totally to the totality, to the prayer care of God, and surely we receive abundance of blessings. God bless you all. Amen.
God loving Father is present in our midst to care for our needs. Let us now submit our prayers and petitions and ask for God's blessings. We pray for leaders of the church, for Pope Francis, our Bishop James, and the clergy and the people who are helping us to grow in our life of faith. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our needs. We pray to the Lord. We pray for forgiveness of sins and both the reception of Holy Communion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for people who ask us to pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for end of pandemic and normal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the soul of Alistair. God grant eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal intentions, the silence of our hearts. We submit to you all these prayers, loving Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's now pray for vocations. O oh God, we earnestly ask you to bless our diocese with many priests, brothers, and sisters, and deacons who will love you with their whole mind and heart and gladly spend their entire lives serving your church and making you known and loved. Bless our families, bless our children, those needed for your work. Mary, the Queen of the clergy, pray for us. Pray for our priests, religious and deacons, obtain for us many more. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O 
O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be prayed, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles' peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your good spirit. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and live in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a good day. God bless.